Not all businesses are rallying back from the pandemic. Many minor league baseball teams are striking out financially with some on the verge of bankruptcy. Now two U.S. senators hope they can help teams score. Here CBS's Chris Van Cleve. The next pitch is lined into left field. The Rocket City Trash Pandas are the hottest thing in minor league baseball, set to make their debut last year until COVID canceled the 2020 season. While the stands are full now, don't think the team is turning a profit. What does losing your inaugural season cost a franchise? Millions of dollars, probably close to 15, 17 million dollars. Leaving the Trash Pandas trying to save the club from the financial dumpster before ever taking the field. It was either shut the doors and close down and lay people off or come up with other creative ways to bring people here to the ballpark, use the facility and do non-baseball events and really push our merchandise. But here in Chattanooga, the lookouts didn't have that kind of flexibility. In fact, they went more than 600 days without fans in these stands. Playing ball since 1885, the Lookouts are one of the oldest teams in minor league baseball. Are you still in survival mode? In a lot of ways, yes. Teams lost 20 games this year. Many, including the Lookouts, started the shortened season with capacity limits. 2020 season tickets and advertising sales were rolled over to this year, but teams had used that money to stay afloat. As a result, 2021 revenue is expected to be down 65% from 2019. How worried are you about the Delta variant? We're concerned with anything that would cost us not just a game, but even stop fans from thinking that coming out is a safe thing to do. Help for the nation's pastime could be coming from an unlikely team. How often do you two find yourself on the same side of an issue? I would say we vote together probably rarely. But on baseball, Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal and Republican Marsha Blackburn agree. They're backing a bill to use $550 million in unspent COVID relief funds to help eligible minor league teams that were shut out of earlier grants for live event venues. If we want to really save and salvage the ballparks and the teams, we have to come to their rescue. They are drivers for jobs, for tourism. This is very much a part of your local economic system. Most of the 120 minor league teams are small businesses. They pay about 50 million in local taxes annually and prior to the pandemic employed nearly 35,000 full and part-time employees. How badly do the lookouts need help like this program? Absent this help, it's going to take us eight to 10 years to get our balance sheet in the state it was back in 2019. A call for relief in the hopes of saving the game. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Chattanooga, Tennessee.